Hello beautiful soul. I'm Vicki Howie of ChakraBoosters.com and I'm coming to you today from beautiful Sedona, Arizona from my home. So there's a world going on around me. If you hear outside sounds, that's just my neighborhood sounds. <laughs> I don't want to keep retaking this video for you. I know we can just work with life as it goes around us. Today we're going to talk about your sixth chakra animals. Now I'm going to give you six animals that can help boost and balance your sixth chakra, which is your brow chakra, which is also known as your third eye. Now this is your highest feminine. It is here and it's, it's related to your pineal gland, which is related to melatonin in your sleep world, your imagination, so the dream world. And it's all about intuition ESP, your psychic abilities, and beauty, your appreciation of beauty. It's the highest feminine, so it's very, very wise in a balanced way. Your chakras move, your left and right body, they crisscross, moving up the chakras. That's the caduceus symbol that you often see. It moves up, and when it comes to the third eye, it unites. So there's like this balancing, ta-da, this electricity, this uh, ultimate place to be where you have really sound wisdom that you can trust and listen to. So you can listen to your inner voice. So if you want to boost the energy there and open your third eye, turn to these animals. And part of you may be saying, well, why can, how can, and why can animals help me? <laughs> it's the little kid in you, the little kid in all of us loves animals. Kids love animals because they're so pure. They're pure energy. A tiger is pure power in fire and solar plexus, right? And you have the dove that's just pure heart, peace, soft, or the deer that's so heart, loving, soft. Do you feel that? The energies are pure. And the way we move and heal energy is by thinking of relating to, feeling into, bringing our attention to the energies that we want to create. So here are the animals that are going to help you create more balance and boost and open your third eye. Okay, so the first one here I'm going to start with is the Hindu animal. Now the Hindu animals, I started in each case with the Hindu animal because yoga uh, was really the discipline, the yogis, the ancient yogis uh, really helped us get to know the chakras. They mapped out the chakras and everything. So it's good to see what the Hindus think about anything related to the chakras. And in this one, they believe that the Gar Garuda eagle, Garuda eagle, or Garuda, however you want to say it, eagle, is the symbol, animal symbol, for this chakra. And the Garuda, if you want to look it up, is like, it's almost, it's not, it's not truly like a person, but it almost has person-like qualities. It's a mythical eagle that's very powerful and big, and it does in its shape and in its feeling remind me of the caduceus. Isn't that interesting? It has a wide wingspan, and it has a symmetry about it that really reflects the masculine-feminine balance of this chakra. So I agree. So use any eagle you see, because I doubt you're going to run into a Garuda eagle. So use any eagle you want or see, or put a Garuda eagle onto your wall to help boost this chakra. All right, my personal favorite. So the next one I usually do is my personal favorite. And I love, love, love the peacock for this one. I cannot see a peacock or even peacock clothing. I'm a yoga teacher. I often see like people wearing peacock pants in yoga class and immediately I move to the third eye because the peacock is beautiful and the third eye is the chakra that appreciates beauty, the highest feminine. It's got those eyes. The peacock has the eyes on its wings and also all birds are about the upper chakras because they're about freedom and flying or or just spreading your wings and then it's colors I always think of like it's got the greens of the hearts that move into the blues of the throat and then up into the blue uh, purpley colors the indigos of the third eye those colors are right there on the peacock so I love the peacock don't you it's beautiful third eye animal Okay, so our next one is the dolphin. I mentioned this in my sacral chakra video because I couldn't leave the dolphins out of that one because it's a water element and the dolphins are so 
oriented for relationship and play. They're awesome. But I did say at that time that I felt like the dolphin's natal home is just a little bit more in the highest feminine. Because there's something about the dolphin. Uh, I talked about the otters in the, the sacral chakra. The otters are playful and they're very much second chakra. There's nothing upper chakra about them. But the dolphins, people want to play with the dolphins and swim with the dolphins because they sense like a psychic connection to the dolphins. The dolphins are wise and amazing, and yet they still have this feminine, playful energy. So dolphins, one of my favorites for this chakra as well. Okay, next I have to mention, this is number four, I have to mention the butterfly. And I think I told you when I got to the throat that the butterfly was sort of the mascot that I like for all of the upper chakras, five, six, and seven, because the butterfly is all about transformation. I mean, it came out of this little furry, I couldn't ever fly caterpillar. Lots of feet, fur, and no wings. That is the ultimate in transformation. That's the ultimate of what being spiritual and being unlimited is about. So we have to put the butterfly here as well. Next, I'm gonna bring up something called the indigo bunting, B-U-N-T-I-N-G. And you can look it up. It's a really cute little bird that resembles the indigo color. That's how it got its name. And since this is the indigo, third eye, the indigo chakra, we have to bring in the indigo bunting. And this bunting is a Canadian bird that flies all the way from Canada, I think in the, the, the uh, fall. It flies from Canada at first when it starts to get cool, down to Florida, and then it flies again, it migrates again, migrates, follows its like intuitive, its inner honing from Florida all the way down to South America. So it goes from Canada to South America, just following the feeling every year year of where it's supposed to go. So given its color, given that it flies, and given that it does this huge migration by listening to what its own body tells it to do, I had to put the indigo bunting on there. And you're going to think it's really, really cute. Okay. Also, uh, we've got the cobra. Now, the cobra is... Uh, you, you've probably seen the cobra in India. There's a lot of um, snakes. <laughs> and so in India, they actually are a little afraid of them because there's a lot of them, but they revere them. They see them as spiritual. And if you've ever seen an Indian snake charmer, they charm the cobra. And the cobra comes out. And what I love about the cobra is it's hooded right around the whole head around the six chakra area. It's like saying, look at this, <laughs> this area. And it's so mesmerizing. And the six chakra is about that dream world and trance states and all that. So the cobra is a beautiful, powerful animal, if you're not a frightened of snakes, to have as your spirit guide here in the third eye. So let me see, make sure I've gone over them all. Because I feel like I might have said that um, num uh, the indigo bunting was uh, number four. I hope I didn't because that was number five and then that was number six that I just did with the Cobra okay so that's six animals that can open your sixth chakra or your third eye <laughs> and just drawing them up in any way should just shift your energy immediately, make you feel more trusting of your own intuition, uh, more open to it, more appreciative of the beauty around you, more balanced in your masculine and feminine uh, energies so that you can make really sound judgment. So you should feel like a really fair feminine judge, like a really good one. All right, so that's how you know it's working if you have those sensations. You might want to watch the other videos and find out what the other animals for the, are for the other chakras because very soon I'm going to give you a meditation where I'm going to walk you through the chakras and you're going to call up your particular totem animals in each chakra. That's going to be very cool. So I will see you on the next video and I hope you have a beautiful week. Blessings.